This video is going to show you how to access the Springfield Public Schools 4 and 8 button template pages uh, for Canvas home pages using City Labs design tools. So here I have just a blank page and I'm going to turn this into a home page with buttons that I can go ahead and personalize for my kids. So first I need to launch my City Labs design tools and I do that by holding Alt Shift D my design tools will load over along the right. Now I need to pull in the template that's already been made for the buttons that I want. So I can go to Create Edit Content and expand that. And now under Institutional Template Pages, if I choose that, I have four large buttons, four small buttons, and eight large buttons, and eight small buttons. And I just need to choose which one of those templates I would want to use. First, let's look at the four large buttons option. And now that is loaded over here. I can come over here and personalize this by choosing where it says Miss Johnson's class, and I can delete that and add my own information. And then if you notice when I come down here, I have four large buttons. So the default buttons are set up for agenda, integrated units, resources, and then virtual library. And the agenda, integrated units, and resources button will take you to a blank page named those items that you then can add your content to. If you want to change those titles or to change your picture, you can do that pretty easily. To change the picture, click on the picture of the button, it'll turn blue, and then you can use either the traditional embed image option here, you can use the upload embed image tool from City Labs that's right there that lets you just grab stuff from your computer to upload it, or you can also use the content selector over here along the right and choose images and then go from here and add an image into that button as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and change that image just to show you what it's like by choosing an image that I already have, and I'm gonna click on it, and it puts the new image there in my button, and if I wanna change the text, I click in the text, delete what is written, and then type my new one. I do wanna note, if you accidentally delete too far, your cursor will go up into your image and you can't really click back into the text to write the text. So you're gonna to wanna to hit Control Z to undo that. And then you can get back in and just delete the text that's needed. To link your button, it's just like you previously would link items. You choose the button you wanna link. And if you wanna link somewhere within Canvas, over here in the content selector, you choose it over here along the right and choose the item you wanna link it to. If you want to link it to an external website, choose your chain link option, and you can type that information there, or you can also do control K is your shortcut to get to the link option, and you can go ahead and put that there, and that will change your button to the link. If you want to change the banner image, it's the same process as before. Choose your banner, and then the, for the banner, I recommend using the external tool, upload an embed image, because when you do that and bring your image in, you can choose the 10 by three ratio, and that's what you're going to want to use for your banner to make sure that it fills that space appropriately. And then you can choose your image and upload it and pop that in there as well. So now if I save my work, I have my course page right here. You'll notice my links are here. These are the large buttons. When I go over them, they pop out a little bit, and the brightness is enhanced. Now I'll show you quickly what the smaller buttons would look like if I wanted to use those instead. Same process for everything using smaller or larger button templates. So I go into the edit screen, I make sure my design tools are launched, I go to create edit content, copy existing content, and then from institutional template pages, I'm going to just choose the small button option and it will swap out what I had before with smaller buttons. And then I could go in and change those, save my work, and now you'll see that these are smaller buttons, but they still have the same pop-out effect and the same color effect. And so we have four and eight button templates available to you, so you can decide to use which one you would like, or if you want to see how to add individual buttons in, on your own, 
please watch the tutorial on adding and personalizing your own buttons here on Glass Classroom.